Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing my phase 2 review. So with Infinity War closing in, I'm going to be reviewing all three phases on the channel. The phase 1 review is already up, so I hope you go check that out. But today I'm doing the phase 2 review. Just remember, there'll be some light spoilers for the MCU, but nothing universe breaking. So, first off, Iron Man 3. So immediately you understand that RDJ's charisma is back. He's just such an excellent Iron Man and that really carries over, whether it's in his more comedic scenes or his more PTSD scenes. Shane Black is also an excellent director for this project. I think he does some really, really excellent directing and overall his style is just so great, even though I don't think this movie really need to be set during Christmas, one of his main tropes. I also think the Mandarin twist works, I'm not a massive comic book reader, so I actually quite like the twist, I think it's a clever twist. However, that's where we do get into the negatives. I don't think Guy Pearce is a good replacement for the Mandarin, and that's probably why the twist doesn't really end up working brilliantly. And also, there's no ACDC in this film, which I think's a bit of a shame. I think ACDC have become a big standpoint from the first two Iron Man films, and it was in the Avengers, so I think to not have it here was a big mistake. Next, Thor The Dark World. So the returning cast for this is great, Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, Idris Elba, they all do such fantastic jobs and they continue their characters really, really well. I really like how this film continues to explore Asgard and its aesthetics and ideas and I think that was just a real, real plus for the film. The film also has really good stakes in that Thor's mum dies and then you have loads and loads of Asgardian soldiers that die and you think Loki dies for a lot of it. However, but the film is really tonally inconsistent. They can go from some Lord of the Rings elements to some comedy moments on Earth, some really tragic moments, and overall, the tones for this film really don't work. Like, we go from a scene from one second with Loki dying, and then straight away, it's a comedy scene with Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman. So the tonal shifts here really, really don't work, and Malekith, the villain, just completely sucks. He's just the most generic cookie-cutter villain, and he is the worst villain of the MCU easily. Now we come on to Winter Soldier, one of my absolute favourites. So the Russos are absolutely incredible directors. They were just TV directors, no one had actually ever really heard of them, but they've done two amazing Cap movies and the Russos are great here. Their direction is absolutely incredible. I think this is the best paced movie in the MCU. There's never a moment that bores you and there's never a moment that's too slow or fast paced. I also think this has a really, really good twist. The high twist and the Bucky twist they just work really really well I absolutely love those twists the action is also fantastic I think the two main highlights have to be the Cap and Bucky knife fight and then also the Sam Jackson car chase I don't think that gets enough credit that car chase is really really awesome and Sam Jackson really really carries it it's such a great scene however this might be a slight fault of the first Avenger but my main issue with this film is that I never really thought that Cap and Bucky had like an amazing relationship and friendship so it's supposed to be this amazing best friend sort of thing and you never really quite buy into that so that might be a fault the first Avenger but I really think they should have tried to develop that Cap and Bucky relationship a bit more or just make them feel that this is really his best friend a bit more here apart from just one flashback scene. Next Guardians of the Galaxy so this one has an all-star cast from Chris Pratt who's absolutely incredible as Star-Lord, Zoe Saldana pulls off some amazing action scenes, Bradley Cooper is so so funny, and even Vin Diesel, who only has three words to say unless you count the We Are Group moments, and overall Vin Diesel just puts in so much emotion to his role, which is just so so amazing. It's also just her hilarious comedy, people like Star-Lord and Drax and Rocket, they get so many comedic moments, it just makes for a really, really funny film. The soundtrack's amazing, it's something I listen to all the time, I absolutely love the original Guardian soundtrack, I think it's just so creative and clever. However, the villain for this is a little bit dull, there's just no real motivation or backstory that you buy into, he's just a Kree that doesn't like Xandar, and I just 
don't think that's actually a good enough motivation. It's just not developed and it's just so generic. Next, Age of Ultron. So I think a main selling point for this is Ultron himself. Not many people like Ultron. I actually think he's a really intimidating villain and you really see his Tony Stark mannerisms, which I really, really like. And then also he can be intimidating and he can be funny. I just think Ultron is an absolutely great villain for the MCU. It's also great to see our heroes return back. I just think that's just a really great thing from the first Avengers with all these heroes. And it's just great to see all of their chemistries re-return together on the big screen. This has some great action pieces. I think the final action scene is great. And I think especially the Hulkbuster versus Hulk scene is a really, really great scene. I'm a massive fan of that scene. However, there are some not so good elements just generally story-wise. I think Thor's kind of jacuzzi subplot is an awkward setup for Ragnarok, which doesn't actually get really paid off in Ragnarok. And then also the vision stuff. I like Paul Bettany. I think he's great in his Marvel things and in his other things. I really liked him as Jarvis. However, I'm just generally not a fan of the vision character. I just think he's a little bit too overpowered and a bit bland and generic. So I'm not a massive vision fan. Also, the film is very poorly paced. It's got action scene, action scene, action scene. And that really slows down in Hawkeye's farm. Then action scene, action scene, Thor's jacuzzi and then massive action scene at the end so it just kind of fills the brim with the action but then it just has some like really really slow moments and it just really makes for a terribly paced film and finally Ant-Man so I really like Ant-Man because it's something different for the MCU instead of just being a another slightly generic Marvel movie it does do the nice heist comedy thing which is really really great Paul Rudd is a perfect actor for this type of project I really really like his work and this is just a great performance for him there's some really really creative action scenes with the Thomas the Tank Engine train set stuff and also there's a nice montage of Paul Rudd learning about his powers and I think there's just some really really creative action set pieces they really utilize in this film. However you do have another bland villain with bland motivations that just feel generic but I'm glad that Marvel has sorted out their villains for pretty much all of phase three but phase two is kind of the age of pretty terrible villains. The movie's also not quite as funny as it thinks it is a lot of the times for me personally the jokes don't quite land i'd probably say only about 70 percent of the jokes landed for me so i think the movie just kind of thinks it's a bit funnier than it is i just feel like edgar wright could have made an absolutely fantastic mesmerizing film whereas in the end we kind of just got a bland okay film so that was my review for marvel phase 2 marvel phase 3 review will be coming out pretty quickly because infinity war is coming out pretty quickly and i want to get my review before infinity war and then i will do an infinity war War review. If you did enjoy this video, please like, please subscribe. I'm happy to have a chat with anyone in the comments, and thank you for watching. Evacuate the city, engage all defenses, and get this man a shield.